What's going on everyone, this is Sarge, and the weapon you're looking at here is the Scout Elite, which is the second unlock for the Recon class in Battlefield 4. It is a weapon that was designed specifically around aggressive recon gameplay, and I am uh, so excited to get to share with you guys my insight on this weapon, and why I think that this is probably the best weapon for an aggressive recon in Battlefield 4. What makes the Scout Elite so unique is that it's the first bolt action introduced to the Battlefield franchise ever that has been centered around tactical and aggressive gameplay, whereas previous bolt actions such as the SV-98 and M40 shined around that type of play style, the Scout Elite lives up to its role in Battlefield 4. The weapon itself is definitely not new to video games, as those of you who are familiar with the Counter-Strike series know that this weapon has made its presence well known there. Uh, the model that we're looking at here of the uh, Scout Stire from the Counter-Strike series is the robust upgraded version from it. And so it does share the same characteristics as the Counter-Strike version, but it's not exactly the same. If I were to compare it to any bolt actions that were available in previous Battlefield titles, I'd say it's very close to the SV-98 from Bad Company or the M40 or L96 from Battlefield 3. Now the SV-98 and the M40 are available in Battlefield 4 and initially those were the weapons I thought were going to be my go-to weapons when it came to aggressive gameplay. But after spending a great deal amount of time using this weapon and comparing it and contrasting it with the other bolt actions that were available in Battlefield 3, I found this one to be the favorite of the aggressive tactical gameplay in Battlefield 4. The chart that we're looking at here is a comparison between some of the bolt actions that are available in Battlefield 4 and I handpicked these ones because these are the ones that I believe are, are centered around the uh, aggressive uh, close quarter medium range type of playstyle in Battlefield 4. And so if we're just contrasting these weapons alone that are dedicated to that playstyle, you'll notice that the Scout Elite uh, outshines them in regards to rate of fire and burst fire. So you can fire your weapon a lot faster than the other ones that are available, which is a big upgrade um, at 63 rounds per minute. And then it has a higher muzzle velocity, so the bullets actually travel farther than the other weapons. The only major hit with the Scout Elite is the fact that it, the end damage is only 36.6 points. Um, so it has one of the lowest uh, damage outputs when it comes to the bolt actions that are available. But you're still going to do the same damage when it comes to close quarter engagements as the other bolt actions. So it has the same um, start out damage, it just ends pretty bad. And the other uh, con is the fact that the magazine size is only 6 rounds. So you're going to be constantly reloading your weapon uh, more frequently compared to the other bolt actions. And so those are the only two major hits I would say that the Scout Elite doesn't have an advantage over the other weapons. But I think with the rate of fire and the muzzle velocity alone sort of gives this weapon the more ideal situation, uh, a go-to weapon for the close quarter engagements in Battlefield 4. The only other alternative weapon that I'd see using other than the Scout Elite would be the FYJS because of its reload time speed or the SRR-61, which uh, is a weapon that I don't have here in the charts I will be covering in a later video. I'm a little disappointed the SV-98 didn't make its comeback in Battlefield 4. I was hoping that that would be the weapon that I would be using primarily, as it's been a favorite of mine since Bad Company. Uh, but Battlefield 3, it wasn't amazing, and so Battlefield 4, it also, you can see according to its stats alone, and me actually getting to try the weapon itself, um, didn't actually deliver as great as I thought it would be. One thing to take note of is that the Scout Elite does maintain a good amount of accuracy when you're moving. So if you're scoped in and strafing side to side and you want to pick off that shot and you line that shot up, um, it's still going to maintain a good amount of accuracy when firing the weapon when you're on the go. Um, same with hip fire. Hip fire itself is also pretty decent compared to the other bolt actions that are available. Uh, I do use the red uh, laser or the, the laser in general as an attachment to increase that accuracy as I always want to make sure when I'm turning that corner if someone pops out I want to be able to uh, pull off that shot and make sure it connects and so um, it just increases the accuracy that's already there but it's not needed. You can use whatever attachments you want with the weapon itself and overall it's just going to be a, a great weapon to use in close quarter engagements. 
And when it comes to scopes, I usually would prefer the seven or eight times. I like a, um, the default ones that you usually start off with is, is good. Um, but if you're very new to Battlefield and you're starting off and you want to get into the aggressive recon scene and you're picking up bolt actions for the first time or at least Scout will be your first weapon to try out and you want um, a, a, a good amount of uh, experience trying these scopes that are available, I would always start off low. So you can go with iron sights um, and then upgrade to you know the later scopes that are available like the 3.4 or 4 times, and then slowly work out your way up to the um, 7 or 8 times. I wouldn't go any higher than that though. They do have a 12 times uh, scope that is available, also at 20 times. In that case, um, you're going to be, you know, you're, there's no point in using the Scout Elite. You might as well try the other bolt actions that are available for those long range shots. You don't really need anything higher than the 8. I will say though, with using a higher zoom, uh, such as the 7 times or 8 times, you're going to have to utilize a tactic called Drag Shot, which I've covered in a previous video. And so um, those are sort of the techniques that are, are um, uh, essential when it comes to higher scope. But um, anything lower is also decent as well. Um, it's just that with a higher scope, you can actually pick off targets at a, a, a considerable amount of distance. So you're not limited to just close quarter alone. You want to be effective at both uh, close and medium ranges. Longer ranges, are obviously, you're going to be wanting to stick with a, another bolt action. But you still can get your shots off. It's just that with a 36.6 point damage that the Scout Elite has, um, if you're getting a body shot, you're probably going to be looking up to three shots to kill your target, which, um, which is it's just horrible with the bolt action. So I wouldn't depend on the Scout Elite to um, deliver when it comes to very far range shots, um, unless you're just going to be getting headshots. So um, in that case, uh, just stick with the closer um, ranges when it comes to scopes. As far as gadgets is concerned, I'm always running around with C4 or the uh, motion mines, but um, it's up to you really. That's not really a... Uh, concern when it comes to using uh, the Scout Elite. Really, if you're playing in close quarters, you can use whatever you want, but um, that's just my setup. And so hopefully you guys have gotten something from this video and any information that you guys uh, are, that I have left out, I apologize. If there's something more that you would want me to cover in a later video, I can. Um, but this is sort of my first impressions video for you guys and what I think of uh, using the Scout Elite. Uh, give it a shot. Once you guys try that out, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in a later video. My name is Sergeant Enigma, and I'm out. Take care.